Hey everybody, it's Kelly Oblack for this week's Sketch It Out Thursday. This is our inspiration board for the week and I'm in love with the colors, the roundness of the lanterns, and then that little touch of gold in the tassels. This is my sketch for the week. It was a sketch that Sarah used in our online challenge for her challenge. I think it was the 11 o'clock challenge. It comes from Chamel Lane, so I love this sketch. I'm going to scrapbook this photo of my brother and sister and their spouses and then my nephew and his wife. They were had just finished a round of golf and they were dressed in a light colors, which was perfect. I love this photograph of them, but I'm going to use it to tell the story of um, how much I love the love that they all show each other. You'll see in the journaling, my sister and brother-in-law have been married 28 years. My brother and his wife have been married 15 years, and my nephew and his wife at this time were married two months. So I just, I just thought it was a really cool contrast about true love and everlasting love and just family love. So anyway, I'm going to start my layout. That background paper that you'll see more of in just a minute is from Pink Paisley Fancy Free. It's the number 11 paper, and it has a lot of those really gorgeous corals and pinks in it from the inspiration board. And then I went and found that um, aqua grid paper that is from My Mind's Eye. It's from the I Believe collection. It's The name is Wreaths, and it's a Christmas paper. You'll see that later when I cut it. I'll show that to you. And then that beige sort of um, herringbone paper that I used to mat the photo is also from Pink Paisley Fancy Free. It's paper number four. Now I'm taking the um, Pink Paisley Fancy Free paper with the circles on it. It's paper number three, and I'm cutting those circles out with like appropriate sentiments on them. And I'm going to play a little bit with these and change some the one on the bottom right out. And then before I started this, I pulled from my collection of flare badges and wood buttons and those kinds of things a couple of badges and buttons that I thought would be kind of fun to use on this. I have a lot of sort of love things and since I'm single I don't use a lot of the love sentiments themselves um, unless I'm talking about like my grandkids or family members or whatever so I just thought it would be really cool to use it on this particular layout. So I have my um, two inch punch there from Marvi Uchida and sorry you can't see that it's a little bit off camera there. Um, I think I have another couple layouts coming up. I switched my scrap space temporarily to my living room so I could scrap during the crop um, last weekend. And so my camera setup is a little bit different than it has been. So I have two circles here. Um, the one that I just put down says, love this. And then the other one says, sweet and lovely. Now, I told you I liked that little touch of gold in those tassels in the inspiration board. So I'm going to take these freckled fawn glitter hearts and they are from their chipboard glitter hearts they are from the just freckled fawn glitter hearts is what they're called and I got them on the web on their website at first I think I'm going to use that open heart and I do like the open heart but I'm going to change that because of how I'm going to want it positioned. Now, when I first started this, I thought I might use a little bit of gold, a little gold doily behind that photograph. But when I put it down, I just decided it was too formal for the casualness of all of them and their golfing clothes. And my brother is actually holding a putter there and my sister's holding her golf gloves. So, and I think my nephew has a putter as well. So I just decided, you know, enough, um, there that that was that was plenty so uh, um, it was too much I guess as it was all right so I did just cut down that wreath paper there and you saw the background of it and I like how that just brings in the um, the aqua element from the inspiration board at first it was a little concerned about using just that aqua on top of the pink because I like to, when I combine colors, I like to sort of get like a stripe or a dot or something with all the colors in it to help it make sense. But in the end, I think this looks just fine and I'm fine with it, uh, with the colors sort of being blended by this that way. 
Then what I'm going to do is, because I want this the elements to stand off the background a little bit, I'm inking all my edges in my favorite inking, my favorite ink to use to ink things. It's the Memento Dewdrop Gray Flannel Ink. And there you can see the background of, that's what I wanted to see. I'm showing you that's actually a Christmas paper. So, which actually was one of the challenges for our online crop this weekend. And I think you'll see this go up on Thursday. So you still have time to go back and enter the challenges, enter layouts into the challenges if you want to win a prize. Um, most of them, I believe, had prizes. I know mine um, is a $10 gift uh, certificate to a cherry on top. And there were um, quite a few others that were gift certificates to different places. So anyway, I'm back to the layout again. I'm inking all of those edges in that Memento Drew Drop. And I've said this, I know, a couple of times, at least on my own channel. I love that ink because it can, it, it's dark, but it's not black. And if you use it with a foam um, applicator, it really does ink in a lighter gray. Now in this particular case, I wanted a little bit of a darker edge, so I did use that. So I'm playing around a little bit with these flare badges and how I'm going to um, use them. And I flipped where the badges were and where the heart was on the bottom. And then these are the, um, the like enamel stickers that come with the pink paisley fancy free collection and i saw that that said most favorite and i actually thought that would be really cool because it is one of my most favorite pictures of all of them but just the fact that their love is just sort of my most favorite as well too um the name of the it's from the fancy free collection like i said and it just is labeled stickers just so you know that i don't know if you can even get those anymore because fancy free was so popular when it um, first came out it was hard to get um many if any of the embellishments there so i'm going to put down that cluster up at the top that heart and the you plus me equals love flare are both from the crate paper love notes collection the adhesive badges and that's a that collection is quite a few years old. I think I found that um, those like at a discount store though at one point. And I love that collection and the one right before it, which was called Paper Hearts. So um, I still have pieces of paper from that, and it's always good to have a few love badges on there. Just the you plus me equals love isn't all that helpful to me at the moment. Then I had the jelly bean soup button there, and I just, I don't know, there was something about it that I just was not caring for. Um, I think it was the different texture, considering everything else was a little bit shinier. So I traded that out for another, another flare. So the back, that heart, uh, that circle says, love this. And then um, the XOXO heart badge is also from the Crate Paper Love Notes adhesive badges. And the coral colored one with the heart on it is actually a badge from two peas. So a flare badge from two peas. So I loved their badges when they came out. The one thing that I'm not very happy about though is that um, they rust or some of them have rusted. So I've, and I've noticed this with October afternoon badges as well too, that not all of them do it, but some of them are actually rusting. And I've had to throw out probably four or five of my two peas badges that I still had and use. I go through periods where I use a lot of flair and then I don't use it. <laughs> so that kind of is what it is, I guess. So I'm going to play around a little bit with this title. It's kind of nice because it's a little bit bendable. I want it to partially touch the photo um, and then partially touch that cluster as well. Like I'm going to get the edge of the T to touch the cluster. So then I'm going to have to take the most and then move it again so that it's kind of sandwiched in there. There's not any green in the inspiration piece and there's not any green anywhere else in this layout, but there's a big um, golfing green on there. So I actually like the fact that there's a little bit of green in that and I just think it does a nice job. And that and actually the, I'm going to put another circle on there. I forgot this. The other circle that I put on here has a little bit of green for the title. So it sort of carries its way down. So there's a little add to that. But this is just one of those things where um, the, I was so inspired by that inspiration board to use the 
circles themselves and then the badges to mimic those lanterns. All right, so here's where I decide that it's looking a little bare towards the bottom. I know I, don't, I want to journal on this yet, but I don't think I'm going to have all that much to say. And I decide, decide to add another cluster of circles and a heart or badges and a heart. And I'm playing around a little bit with the colors of what I'm going to do until I figure that out. And what's going to happen is, is I think that pink circle was just a little bit too bright. So I'm going to look to see if I can find another circle that I think is appropriate. And I find that one that says you plus me. And since this is about the couples and their love for each other, that's like perfect. So there's that. And now you can see where a little bit more green is going to come into my layout. And I have not quite finished moving around which badges I'm going to use. I'm going to change one of them out. No, actually, I didn't find the you plus me one. It'll be just a second. Now I'm going to find the you plus me. <laughs> I can't, I, those of us who do these videos know sometimes it's really hard to read what your screen says. So, um, Sometimes it kind of fools you into thinking that you're done before you are. There's the you plus me. And I like how that echoes the lighter circle at the top. It's not calling as, as much attention to itself. And there is a lot going on on this layout with all the badges. Um, you know, I'm hoping that the photo is still standing out. And from this perspective, it does um, still stand out when I'm looking at it like that. But, you know, I didn't want it to be not about the photo. So I have the two badges down now that I'm going to use and the Love You Flare, which I just put on, which is in that really dark coral color, is from the Project Life collection. It's it's um, the Kiwi collection and it just is called Flare. I bought those at Joann's, just so you know that. And then the Camera Flare is from American Crafts, the Hashtag Summer collection, and it's um, the Flare Adhesive badges that that one is from. So I love how that's turning out. And I used up six pieces of flare on here, which is awesome. Not that you have to use them all up on one layout, but you know, it is nice and there's a lot of repetition. And like I said, it's a lot of loved theme flare. And I can only put so many pink hearts on my grandson's layouts <laughs> before it gets a little, um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I do use pink on their layouts, but that's a little much eventually. Okay, and what I'm doing here is I'm just using uh, adhesive dots or zots, zots or glue dots, whichever, in a large size to attach those. I did take, they had um, foam squares behind a few of those dots and I took them off because there's already a lot of dimension on this. I didn't want to add any more dimension than what I already had. And so here's where I just journal, and I'll just tell you what it says. It says, I love these guys and the love that they have for each other, long-term marriages and newlyweds, but they are all the definition of true love. Mark and Tina, 28 years. John and Cinnamon, 15 years. Sebastian and Megan, two months. 8616. So I have a little bonus for you at the end. So watch all the way to the end because I have the still shots and a couple of detail shots by my layout, but about of this layout, but then after that, it will be followed by two still shots of two different other takes on this sketch that I did. Um, one of them I posted to Sarah's challenge, and then the other one is going to be in an upcoming video of mine, but uh, they're both two different takes. Um, a little bit, I take the middle piece on one of them and use it, make it into a banner. And the big large photo mat and then the other one I actually shift everything over to the left and use a journaling card to the right so it'll just be two different ways two different takes on how you can use a sketch and I thought it was just kind of interesting to include so hope you are all well take care and we'll see you again on Crafty Maven Getaway bye